So welcome to this tutorial about um, configuring Node Red so that Node Red can read and write to Slack channels. So um, you need those uh, components where you can find them at the when you open the palette and then on install you just type Slack and it's actually the first package you have to install. And here I created a very small um, yeah, flow chart, you can say. So it consists of Slack RTM in, where we get a message in, and a um, Slack web out, where we write to a channel. And this one will be connected to a message, so we just see what we get. And this will be connected to the Slack web out. So we start with opening Slack. And then what we want to do, we want to create a new channel. So we create a new channel, let's call it um, tutorial channel. Just, yeah, let's call it like that, tutorial channel. This is nothing that we need. And then what we have to do, we have to create applications. So we go to apislack.com. And the first, so we create actually two bots and I will tell you later why we create two bots. So you Google Slack RTM, you go to the um, documentation about real-time messaging uh, at the official Slack um, website, open it and there you can see you, have, you can create a classic app. You click on this, so now we will create a classic app and we will call this bot reader so this will and then we select uh, the workspace and bot reader this is essentially an application a, a bot that reads from a slack channel okay so we create this and then we will configure it and we first go to our oh, autumn permissions and then what we do and th this is also a very important point never click on update scopes this is very very important and then we will add the bot uh, rule so this is actually it we will see later if we need uh, some more rules so after you but th that's this one is actually the most important one and then we go to app home and we add a legacy bot and we will call we will call it the same like bot uh, reader i think it was bot reader bot reader i think it was like that okay and we are basically done we go back to basic information install to workspace um, we allow it and yeah, that's it. Uh, we are getting also now the token. You will see in an O out. And we need this one, the the token for the bot user. User, we go to Node Red. We conf uh, we click on Stack RTM in. We configure a new Slack client. Then we can call it bot reader. Uh, this I think I posted it. Yeah, okay. Ready. We go back to Slack. Go to our channel. We go here. We click on this icon. We go to integration. Then add application. We take bot reader. And this is it. So this should actually already work out. So we deploy it. Then we go back to Slack. We wait a second, I will delete this. We go to the channel and just write something, hello world. And here you can see you're getting the messages. And here at payload, you have the message with hello world. So this works. Then we go back to our um, administration page, your apps. And so this one is a classic, um, a classic application. So we create now a new app and uh, with, with this button here, create new app from scratch. 
and then we call it bot writer we select the workspace create and here we go again to all all out and permissions then we add here on the bot token scopes we add some yeah some rules that we might need so we may need for example channels read and then we take chat write and incoming webhook that should be it and then we don't need something to add like a legacy bot or something we go straight to basic information and install it to a workspace then we pick the channel and uh, this that was tutorial channel i think we go to okay then we go back to OAuth and permission. We copy our token, pass it straight here to. Um, so we create a new um, a new stack a Slack client. Pass in the token. Let's call it bot writer. So we know it writer. Okay. Bot writer okay and uh, we go back to slack again to our channel disk icon integration add app and here bot writer okay we are done with this and then let's see what we actually do we have a inject uh, component uh, which creates a time step it goes to a function where we uh, have a topic we call it chat me message and we have a payload where we uh, state the channel where we want to write to so this is an, an old one tutorial uh, what do we call it tutorial channel wait tutorial channel yeah exactly and yeah let's call it hello world okay and this will then go uh, straight into the slack uh, web out component we will deploy it so let's try it anyways so even though it, it showed an error you can see that if i press on um, on the timestamp on the inject button you can see in slack i'm actually adding uh, messages here so yeah let's do it like that and then you can see i have a lot of hello world and then again if i delete it and i write hi then we will receive here the payload with hi this is also an error i don't know in a, uh, account inactive uh, it doesn't mean anything uh, just ignore it and one more thing we can also use only one bot for example only the bot reader and here i created something i created a um let's do it from scratch i i will um take one slack web out connect it then this one I will delete this one real quick and then we go back to our administration page my apps we go to the bot reader and um, one more thing uh, slack rtm out uh, doesn't work for me i don't know why uh, i i couldn't make it run but um, you can use um, the the bot reader the bot reader's uh, user token here this one we used this one previously so you can use this one above copy it create a new slack client let's take it user writer call it user writer and you deploy it and then when we print something I will open Slack. You can see Hello World. Maybe one more. A lot of Hello Worlds. Oops. 
So this worked and you can also see that I am the, the, the user account is actually posting those messages in the channel. For me, this is pretty unintuitive. Uh, I would do it with a separate account so people can see uh, that the bot is actually writing in the channel. And um, to do this, I already showed you, you have to create a separate account and a separate bot. Uh, but this is also a solution. You can also do it with just one uh, bot account with one application. So thank you for your attention. I hope you find it uh, very helpful. And yeah, I hope you can use Slack in your next Node-RED um, application. So see ya.